Okay, so this is a demo of uh, the tools that I've been putting together. Um, it's based on some previous work that I've been doing over the last few years, um, but it's kind of all come together. So I very recently got the ZX Spectrum Next, and um, inspired by that and seeing some online uh, demos, I put together some web tools that allow me to um, code and then export into uh, ZX native uh, um, format. So um, I've got the SD card for the ZX Next right here. If I go into uh, demos and in uh, basic, um, we've got uh, this file, basic sprites, um, and I can just drag and drop these files directly into this editor. It loads it up, I can see the code, I can make changes to the code as I see fit. Um, and I can download in three formats. Um, I can download a tap file, uh, which will work in an emulator or, or in fact on the uh, ZX Next. I can download it as the uh, plus three DOS um, bas fo basic format, which is what this is actually in. Um, and that will work on the micro drive that the basic is reading. And I can also download um, the audio if I want to kind of play it into the ear. So um, this will include the headers and uh, the pilot sounds required to basically play it over audio, which is, I think, pretty uh, uber retro, uber nerd, um, but it works pretty well. Um, the second tool I want to show you is uh, the Sprites tool. Um, it's based very much on the Sprite Edit tool that's on the Next itself, um, with just a few things that I kind of uh, I quite like. Um, so there's kind of some keyboard shortcuts in here that's described in the help. Um, this is your kind of uh, palette stack, so your history of colors. Um, you can use the keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to um, change colors by keyboard to kind of jump back and forth. Um, you can also pick colors by holding down uh, the Alt key um, and that will add it to your, your color stack. Uh, we have transparent as well, um, which is over here. We can clear the sprite. We can add new sprites, which is not very clear here. So I can click on the uh, sprites and delete them. Um, and um, so inspired by um, Daryl Sloan's, Daryl Sloan, is that my pronounce it right? Yeah, Sloan. Um, he did a video uh, on YouTube on how to kind of code up a uh, little space game, or at least show you how to use a keyboard. Um, and I really like the sprites that he had, but I wanted to um, draw them. Uh, so this is how you would draw it using uh, this tool. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and clear that sprite and start from scratch. Um, I'm just gonna pick some of these colors that are kind of close. Um, so I've got this, I guess that's red, um, and then a dark red, and then a kind of a middle red, um, and then we've got some yellows, and then kind of a dark yellow. So that's my uh, stack of colors, um, and I can just go ahead and kind of draw that in. So kind of copying his layout, um, sure that's not his intention, but it is a pretty cool uh, little ship, and heaven knows I can't draw sprites for the life of me. Um, and there's also a shortcut for uh, deleting as well, so you can hold down shift um, and uh, click, and you can just delete that, that, that block. And then once that's drawn, um, I can uh, duplicate the sprite, and then just kind of clear out the next bit, so I kind of have, uh, so I can kind of create that animation that he uses. Um, and I can also kind of change the order of sprites as well. So um, here I'm kind of rotating them left and right. Um, the other thing that I worked hard on is actually getting it so that I can drop, um, uh, well, basically one of these sprite files in. So we can drop that in. Um, and then we can see all the sprites for that particular file. Um, let's just open it up a bit more. So I can kind of look at each one of these sprites. I can use cursor keys to go left and right. Um, and I can also, what I was trying to show you is the kind of rotate. So I can move, if this sprite is in the wrong spot and I want to swap these two over, I can kind of rotate uh, over to the left and right, just kind of move it into the right spot. Um, and then finally, I can actually download the sheet, which is probably the key part. So um, if I go over to um, some, images that I made before. Or rather, actually, I can also drop in a PNG. So here I've got a PNG, which is 
uh, same kind of lay- well, not same kind of layout, but it's sixteen by sixteen pixels. But it's uh, it's three by three, so it's um, three of these characters and another three and another three. It correctly lays it out as I'd want. Um, I can delete one of these sprites and then I can uh, download the sprite sheet uh, person.spr and then if I pop that onto um, the ZX Spectrum SD card um, I should be able to put the person into that directory I'm just going to remount it onto the Spectrum so on the Spectrum now I'm going to uh, remount the drive, yes, um, and I'm going to go back up to uh, my progs directory and then let's open up that person file, there it is, and you can see uh, it is compatible with the, uh, the Spectrum, which I think is very cool. Um, and then I can use that and kind of make tweaks and so on, so uh, yeah, hope you like this demo. Um, I'm very pleased with my ZX Spectrum Next and I'm looking forward to playing a whole load.